time to wake up. This is what you need. Entertaining and educating. It's Kenny Klein TV. Tune in, please don't delay. Entertaining what we educate. This is what you need. Hey, Kenny Klein TV. Let's go. What is up, guys? Hope everyone is having a great day. If you are new to the channel, welcome. And if you are coming back, welcome back. And if you have yet to subscribe, please go ahead and do that. All right, so today we're taking a look at Blind Man Audits. Again, the last time we featured him on the channel, he was very upset about a fedora-wearing man simply asking him questions, going as far as to call him a Darren. And you, the people, we, the people, decided that that man was not a Darren. In fact, almost everybody thought that man was very dapper, very well-dressed, and a lot more informed than the auditor. Well, he's back at it, and this time he is at a church. And he again is confronted. How does this encounter go? Well, let's get right into it and find out. So, salute so to our men and women who have served in the armed forces. I don't always see a flag, but when I do, I try to acknowledge that. Let's see. I don't see cameras very often. That looks like that's, uh, I'm assuming that's directions over there. And they've got cones here blocking this off for some reason. Good morning. Howdy. <laughs> Did you want to come inside? Uh, not this time, thank you. Well, yeah, thanks for making it this far. What's your name? Um, you can call me blind man. Okay, I yes. could. Yep. All right. Um, um, can I call you something else? Uh, that's all I'll go by for now. Okay. Yep. Um, uh, so, uh, blind man, where, what brings you here? Um, just here on this, uh, sidewalk. Uh-huh, yeah. Yep. What brings you to this particular sidewalk? I'm just here uh, working on a project. Okay. Yep. Uh, that's a real good um, uh, video holder you got there. Thank you. Yeah. You could ask what kind of project you're doing. I wouldn't want to divulge that at this time until the project is complete. And that's fine. Yep. Is there something I could specifically pray for you about? Um, not at this particular time, thank you. Of course. Okay. All right, well, I saw you here, and yep. I wanted to welcome you in and uh, see if there's anything I could do for you, get you. Um, okay. Well, I appreciate the offer. Um, I'm, just, uh, I'm just perfectly fine where I am right now. Okay, great. All right. Thank you. Okay, so that was the first interaction in this video. Now, that interaction went, there was nothing, I don't even think he could find an issue with that interaction. The gentleman simply walked up to him and said, hey, is there anything I can pray for you about? He politely said no and um, did his little shtick about doing a project. Um, he didn't try and tell him he couldn't film. He didn't try and tell him he needed permission to be filmed anything like that he simply was wondering exactly what he was doing which honestly i think any business owner or anybody that works at a business would wonder what is going on especially if they are not familiar with first amendment auditing as a concept or anything like that so um i don't i can't even imagine would that there would be an issue with that interaction now do any other interactions that happen in this audit warrant any kind of concern? Well, let's get right into it and 
find out. Here comes another guy. So they're gonna come out. Stand by. You should have known we were gonna come over and talk to you. I'm sorry? I said you should have known we were gonna come over and talk to you. How are you? That's fine. How are you guys doing today? I'm good. Good. Are you good? I'm fine, thank you. Okay. What do we got going okay. on today? I'm just down here on a public sidewalk. Okay. Yep. This isn't actually public, but... Well, this is actually public. The sidewalk is considered public. Um, regardless of that, there is the... Um, there is an easement here, but yeah, this is a public street up to a certain point here. So, which makes this a public sidewalk. Okay, so you're one of those guys? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean by those guys. Well, you, you tell me what you think that I mean by that. Um, Somebody out here trying to get attention and... Correct! I'm not sure what you mean by that. I'm not... We were out here recording on a sidewalk, hoping that you're going to draw attention at a church where you know that it is a soft target and there's a potential threat, which means that you know the security is going to come over here and talk to you, and you're going to see how we react. A soft and target? You're, you're not a dumb guy. I, I already know that just for the fact that you're here. You've done your research. I appreciate that. You're absolutely more than welcome to record. I don't have any problem with that. I'm just coming over to make sure that you're good. And okay. I'm make sure that's actually what you're doing and not some weirdo outside of quite frankly being a weirdo i'm not sure what you mean by weirdo but okay. um, you're coming you're coming here to cause alarm we know what you're doing i mean and you're, and you're more and you're, like i said and you're, you're more than welcome to um you're actually I, you're actually more than welcome to even come inside if you'd like to if you want to come in and grab service be more than happy to get you a seat in there um, you can actually record part of the service here and there. We just ask that you don't record the entire service. But if you wanted to record bits and pieces just because it's under trademark. But, um, yeah, if you want to hang out here and record. Be a good service today. So. Okay, well, I appreciate your offer. I think I'll just uh, stay put where I am respectfully. I, I, I already knew the answer to that. So, if anybody else comes over, what do we call you? You can call me Blind Man. Blind Man? Yes. Okay. So if anybody else comes over and says that there's a guy out there recording, identifies himself as a blind man, we already know that, uh, and you can tell him that you talk to, talk to James okay. and Stevenson. Okay. So, all right. No worries. Enjoy your day. All right. Take care. Hey, what YouTube channel am I going to be on? Um, I don't know anything about that. You don't know anything about YouTube? Well, I don't know where this story will go. Okay. Is that what you're doing as a story? Under freedom of the press. You're not even a real journalism. That's right. I understand that. I, I'm not doubting that. Just, just, just curious as to where we're going to end up. That's all. I wouldn't want to divulge that as that might, uh, uh, as that might compromise. I know it might compromise your story and blah 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 blah. That's that's kind of the stereotypical response that we're. The stereotypical response. It is. Yes, sir. So. All right, I'm just curious where we're, where we'll be able to find you in the future. Okay. I mean, if, if you're if you're if you're doing this for an actual story and you've got good stories and you you want to get followers, I mean, it'd be a great opportunity for you to get to get a, to get at least a plug out of it. Okay. Is it not? Well, you know, I won't divulge anything else at this point in time. Okay. Well, you need a, you need a little bit more practice on your uh, First Amendment audit. So, wish you the best of luck, sir. Okay, not sure what he meant by practice, but it didn't sound like he was too friendly inclined to it, but it also sounds like he knows not to call law enforcement. And he was trying to finesse me, telling me that this wasn't a public sidewalk, which this definitely is. All right, so there you guys go. Now, the only issue that I think 
could be made is the fact that the gentleman did state that um, the sidewalk wasn't public, but it is. Uh, I believe he knew that maybe he was just trying to, you know, see if the auditor himself knew sort of thing, which, you know, is what he can do. He never told him he couldn't do it. He was simply, you know, he simply said, you know, hey, well, maybe it's not. And, you know, it is. And he knew. And, you know, he was just trying. I mean, he didn't want him there. So, you know, he did what he thought he could. Of course, he was wrong. Um, when pressed about it, he didn't continue. He knew exactly what the auditor was doing. Um, again, he's not a public official, so no rights were violated at all whatsoever. Um, the other complaint that the auditor had about him being um, not polite, well, again, he is not a public figure. He is not a cop. He is not a public employee. Therefore, the expectation of politeness is not really valid at this point. He has a First Amendment right to treat this guy how he wants to treat him unless he threatens him or any or actually harms him or anything like that. Nothing like that happened. How many times have auditors been rude to public employees and say, oh, you have to be nice to me. I don't have to be nice to you. Well, this gentleman doesn't necessarily have to be nice to him. So it's just interesting how they can complain about regular citizens not being nice to them, whether they're private, you know, private citizens, private employees, private business employees, I'm sorry. Um, it, it, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Um, he knew the, again, the gentleman knew exactly what both of them knew exactly what was going on here. They didn't fall for the bait. Um, auditor, it, it, he ends up staying quite a while until the service ends. Nobody else confronts him or anything like that. So anyway, what did you guys think? How did this interaction go? Both interactions. What did you think of the first reaction? What about the second one? Let me know in the comment section. Twice he was asked to come in. He was even told he could record part of the service. I mean, they really tried to make him feel welcome. And, you know, I'm surprised he didn't take advantage of that. Could have been quite interesting. All right, guys. Hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. And we will see you again in another video. Peace. We've only just been